everybody. Welcome back to the Fandom Minutes. I'm Mike. And I'm Matt. And today our episode is going to be a little different. Uh, in case you know, hadn't noticed, we are over Skype call. Uh, we're trying to, uh, you know, keep some distance and uh, and go along with the the uh, the rules kind of set out for this uh, issue we're having these days. Um, but today's episode is going to be hopefully a pretty good one. Um, Matt, why don't you go ahead and tell them what we're doing? So, we are self-quarantined, and we're trying to keep, you know, away from people so we don't spread the virus of the COVID-19 here in 2020. Um, so that's why we're doing this, like Mike said. Um, so, but anyways, so today, we are going to be talking about Doctor Who, one of my favorite fandoms. Um, Doctor Who, um, wasn't originally my favorite show. My favorite show was originally Supernatural. And was for a very long time and then Doctor Who came along and you know for a long time it still wasn't my favorite uh, show but as time went on um, it just kind of ended up taking over and it has become my all-time favorite show very nice very nice so what uh, for, for those that don't know can you kind of explain what what exactly it is okay so Doctor Who is about this alien that is a time lord he's called a time lord and he travels in this phone box and the phone box isn't necessarily a phone box because when you go inside it's actually a spaceship so this phone box has like its own dimension inside of the phone box so the phone box is a normal old remember like the old phone boxes that was a police phone call box so that if you needed an emergency and you needed to call the police you would go inside this phone box and it would automatically ring the police well his spaceship got stuck as a phone box even though it can change into different things it got stuck and then he just never fixed it so um, it's about this alien and he's called the doctor and the reason why it's called doctor who is because um, he goes by the name the doctor because he likes helping people and so when he goes up to people he introduces himself as the doctor and a lot of people go Doctor Who and so that's kind of the running joke of the show is it's Doctor Who again you know and so the spaceship not only travels in space it can go throughout all of space but it can also go through time so not only is it a, space, a spaceship it's also a time ship a time traveling ship so it can go in forward in time as far as it wants or backwards in time as far as it wants. And so obviously that creates tons of adventures for this character. And um, he usually he's very favorable to Earth. He feels like Earth is a special planet and really likes the humans. He feels that the humans are a special species uh, unique to the others in the galaxy. That he just feels that there's something about them, you know, that we're weak but we always strive to be our best and always, you know, come out on top no matter what advers- you know, adversities we end up facing. And so um, he, he's fallen in love with the humans and ends up bringing on friends that he calls companions that um, go on his adventures with him. Very nice, very nice. So how, how, uh, how old exactly is the show? How, how long has the show been going on? I'm not sure they have it here, but it first aired in 1963. Wow, so that's, yeah, a long time ago. So it aired originally in 1963. It was black and white, um, and they used so whenever the spaceship moved and stuff, it was actually a model, and they did all the whole models of the alien planets and stuff. Unless it was a, a up close and personal with the actors, so anytime you saw the spaceship appearing, you know, fading into existence, uh, it was a model, it was a toy model that they had sculpted, um, so yeah, it's old, 1963, um, so it keeps going, it's kind of like James Bond in a way, because the show, the Doctor isn't always the same, so it started out with the actor, um, oh, I just lost his name, (laughs) uh, the first doctor, doctor on Doctor Who, the first actor that portrayed the Doctor was William Hartnell, and he was an older gentleman. And uh, anyways, uh, I'm actually going to be talking about this in one of a, on one of the interesting facts, one of the 35 facts. 
Um, but as being an older gentleman, his health kind of started waning near the end. And so they created a way for the doctor to regenerate into a new actor or actress. Um, so what happened was this actor was getting kind of sick and so they needed a way for the show to continue going. So they made it to where the doctor isn't, the doctor was already an alien, but they made him a time lord. Uh, that wasn't until later, but they made it to where any time the doctor was wounded fatally and died, he would regenerate into a new actor, a new person. So the doctor keeps all of his thoughts and memories, but his personality changes. So he becomes a different person, but he remembers his past lives, so to speak. Nice. So he, does, he doesn't like dying because he knows who he is currently will no longer be. It's kind of sad. Yeah. So what drew you into the show and who who did you hear from it or hear, hear about it from? So I knew about it just from the internet because it's all over the internet. I knew it existed and I thought, man, this show looks pretty cool. I feel like I would like it. But it was a show that I never thought I'd ever get around to watching. Um, it was just one of those that was always in the back of my head. I'm like, man, probably should watch that show, but eh, kind of thing, you know? Um, so I ended up dating this girl, Amanda. And she was really into it, and she's like, you've got to watch it. I'm like, well, I, I knew about it, so, you know, better time than any, I guess, to watch it. So she showed me uh, Doctor Who. Uh, she started out with the ninth Doctor and uh, started me on the first episode. And the first episode, of course, is very cheesy. But I was like, okay, this is weird and kind of interesting. It kind of intrigued me, the whole time traveling aspect of it. And I was like, okay, so let's keep watching. So we watched episode two, and after episode two, I was pretty much hooked. It took a couple episodes, and I was hooked on the show. Now, that's that's about the same, I believe that's the same season I started on, when you got me yeah, watching. Yeah, we went ahead and had, uh, I had you start on the same season. And I know that um, as the seasons went on, as the actors changed, um, each one was my favorite up until the next one and then that yeah. person was that much better and yeah exactly yeah that's how my, I my ultimate favorite ended up being david Tennant, the 10th doctor so who who is or who was your favorite so same thing i love nine uh, the ninth doctor and then when he died i was like oh no i'm not gonna like this next guy and then i like the next guy and then i'm like oh god i'm not gonna like the next guy and then i like the next guy and so same thing with me um I really liked uh, Matt Smith for a long time, um, even through the first, which was the 11th Doctor, right after David Tennant. I love David Tennant, but I felt like Matt Smith was kind of more nerdy, uh, a little more easygoing, kind of cheesy, more like myself. And so I really uh, was able to relate to the Matt Smith bow tie Doctor, and I really liked him. But um, about whenever Peter Capaldi, which was the 12th Doctor, got through, um, I think he was for three seasons, and about halfway through the second season is when I started falling in love with him, the actor, and just the way he portrayed the character. And honestly, uh, I really like the new one, Jodie Whittaker, uh, the female Doctor. I, she's fun. She reminds me a lot of David Tennant. I think you'll really like her. But... Um, I've got to say Peter Capaldi, the old man. And a lot of people are like, well, he's too old to play the Doctor. Well, if you remember, William Hartnell, the very first Doctor, was an old man as well. And this character, more than any other actor I've seen, um, besides, you know, maybe the Avengers and some of those shows, this actor really um, got to me. You know what I mean? Like, uh, really spoke to my heart and just the way he portrayed the character was just amazing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Capaldi was also the one that actually played a previous character, correct? Yes. And um, so Peter Capaldi played uh, one of the like emperors in, I think, Greece. They went to, back to, oh, Pompeii, I believe. It was in Pompeii. Um, he was one of the rulers of Pompeii the, the time of the eruption that happened with the volcano. Well, the doctor was there because um, his companion at the time wanted to visit Pompeii, 
and they visited the day that everyone died. Well, um, he said, you know, it's a fixed point in time. People are going to die. It's just the volcano erupts, they die. That's just part of life. And so he wasn't going to save anyone. He was going to let, you know, them die because he, that's just how life works sometimes. I mean, if it wasn't a major event like that that everyone knows about, yeah, he could save, you know, people here and there. But when it's a major event and you know everyone dies, kind of makes sense that everyone continues to still die to not mess up the timeline. Well, the companion the whole time was like, we have to save these people. You know, the, the ruler that was Peter Capaldi, the actor, uh, they're like, we got to save them. You know, like we became friends with them. Um, we know they're there. We can save them. And the doctor's like, no, we can't save them. And finally, near the end of the episode, he said, you know what? We are going to save these people. And so he actually went and saved the that emperor or whatever, the real, one of the ruling classes person, because he was a good person. He ended up saving the, him and his family and bringing them right after the volcano exploded and saved him. And so when Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, regenerated into the 12th Doctor, who was played by Peter Capaldi, the Doctor chose to look like that emperor so that he would all anytime he looked in the mirror he would remind himself that he can always save people she died there's nothing you can do i can do anything there's nothing i can't do nothing but i'm not supposed to ripples tidal waves rules i'm not supposed to like I'm trying to tell myself something. I think I know what I'm trying to say. Just someone. Not the whole town. Just save someone. Come with me. I know what I got this face and I know what it's for. Okay, what's it for? To remind me. To hold me to the mark. I'm the doctor and I save people. And if anyone happens to be listening, and you've got any kind of a problem with that, to hell with you! Nice. I like how they how they played that. Like yeah. That. Because they'd already used the actor, and that's how they weaseled it into the storyline. I thought it was an amazing way to do it. Nice. So, of the companions, who is your favorite? Who is your least favorite? Uh, out of the ones I've seen, I haven't got to watch all of the originals. I want to watch the classics. Um, it's just, you know, finding time to watch them all because, you know, it's like 50 years or, or close to 50 years of uh, TV that I need to watch. You know, 100 episodes were lost, but there's tons that I need to watch. Anyway, so I can't really speak for the previous companions, unfortunately. But out of the new ones, um, I would probably have to say my favorites were Amy and Rory Pond. Um or Williams, Amy and Rory Williams, uh, because their dynamic as being a uh, husband and wife were super fun. Another one of my favorites was actually Billy, I think was her name, right? Uh, with the 12th Doctor. A lot of people hated her. A lot of people hated her. Uh, I thought she was fun. Um, she kind of challenged the Doctor a little bit, I felt, and I just thought she was kind of, she got into a lot of stupid accidents and stuff, but I, I feel like she was fun. Um, most disliked, I wasn't a fan of Donna. She was labeled, again, as one of the most important, but I wasn't a fan of Donna. Uh, what about you? I did not like her at all. 
yeah absolutely did not like her um but i'd say my two favorites were uh amy of course i i love the actress yeah uh, same if you're out there and you're gonna see this we love you um and then of course you know the original the one i watched to begin with it was tyler uh, yeah yep she uh, for obvious reasons she was she was one of the uh you know she was the first one that i saw yeah so um naturally she's gonna be one of my favorites but uh amy was also one of my favorites uh but, any other ones that you particularly like the out of some of the newer ones uh i mean there, there wasn't other than the one there wasn't any that i didn't like uh they all had their their ups but just that one i don i just couldn't it was hard for her to fit in like, everything she did everything she said just annoyed me <laughs> so um yeah that's that's definitely my least favorite yeah i think so there's actually a clip from another tv show where the doctor ends up playing a teacher a substitute teacher and uh she's a, in a class i think her name is Catherine in the show and the whole show is about that her playing a student and she's super sarcastic super witty and I kind of think if they had gone with that character's version of her as the companion compared to what they did go with, maybe it would have been more fun. Possibly, but, yeah. But they changed it up because they didn't want, you know, that student to be exactly the same in Doctor Who, you know. So I can understand why they changed it. But if you ever watch that little clip, uh, she's a very spunky, very fun character. And I, I think that would have been gotten along with David Tennant because they would have gotten to even more fights. <laughs> but they would have been fun fights, you know, and not the bickering stuff. Alrighty, so that wraps up this episode. Uh, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, what are we doing next week? Uh, so next week will be the episode with Brian. Um, we had a little bit of a mix-up. We thought that was going to be this week. Uh, some things came up, so it'll actually be next week. Uh, he'll be going over uh, Hunt Showdown. He's got a very detailed um, review to go through with us. Um, I think it'll be a great, great time, and we'll have a lot of fun with that one. Nice. Uh, for now, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, everybody, be, everybody, be safe out there. You know, take care of each other. Um, smash this like button, subscribe, and as usual, let us know what you think you'd like to see, and we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget that social distancing. Laters.